Valkyrie Elizon was my 500th uh, subscriber on my YouTube channel. My teeth have just started that whistling thing again. Uh, and as the 500th subscriber, bonus uh, bird singing in the background, that is Prince the Dove. Uh, Valkyrie Elizon said that uh, she's been watching uh, my videos about you know, the struggles and things I've been going through, um, but wants to know um, what gives me joy. And I said I would uh, make her the video she wanted, and here it is. It was actually, it's a strange thing at first to think about joy. It's not, honestly, it's not a word I use often. <laughs> and, um, you know, it often sounds kind of fake, like, oh, you know, but it's like, you know, it's, it's a real thing, and it's great when it strikes you. Um, I just really think about what gives me joy, and then it made me think that it's hard to think about joy, because joy is when I'm not thinking. If that makes sense, it's just like something is more lit up, more aroused than just, you know, processing normal daily details. Um, that actually makes the next, um, the thing I was going to say first that um, gives me joy. This is kind of ironic after saying it's what I don't think because it's when a thought, when, uh, when something comes together in the mind, um, here's just an example from yesterday. We were at um, uh, bar trivia, pub trivia, whatever one wants to call it. And there was a question about a game that had an update to its rules um, about how the pawn could, the pawns could move. And that so let me just say that again you know there was a new rule in the inst added to the instructions for this game now thinking about pawns and moving the only game i could think of or anyone else could think of that had pawns was chess but that would it seemed very weird the idea of that you could make a new rule for chess because it's just it's this traditional uh public domain thing that has um evolved over centuries and has quite possibly been in its um, current form for centuries and the game has changed over time but you, but it didn't get changed because someone sent out an edict of you know, it's, um, so, um, uh, to go back a bit, one of the, um, things that this pub trivia company does is they play music while they're waiting for us to, um, submit our answers. And, um, the answer, the, the songs they play often, but don't always have some kind of clue or, Maybe not even a clue, but the the songs go along with the um, the question, and um, but they don't always have to do with the question, which it makes it kind of maddening. But it often does, and sometimes it helps find the answer. As in, we had chess down in the thing because nobody had a better answer. We hadn't hit submit yet, and the. Um, the song comes on, I hear the, the um, guitar pattern going, and um, before he even says the words, all apologies, I recognize that this is All Apologies by uh, Nirvana, the uh, acoustic version. And it was just hearing it that at that moment and knowing that the song was called All Apologies and somehow 
I went instantly to the fact that there's a game called Sorry. I couldn't, um, I didn't remember that the playing pieces for Sorry were called pawns, but they kind of look like pawns. Um, they have a rounded top and then they, you know, sort of go out like, like this under the rounded top. Uh, that's not very helpful, um, I'm sure. But, and you know, so the, the, the game, sorry, the song, all apologies, the fact that, well, the game, sorry, has been around for decades. It's the kind of recently invented game that it was actually, it is still someone's intellectual property. And the manufacturer could make changes like any rule. So I said that. And uh, one of the things with this uh, pub trivia is not only does the team put in their guess for what they think the answer is, but you rank the confidence with which you feel that answer is correct, and that, which is essentially how many points you're betting that you'll gain if you're right or lose. Um, comes one, three, five, and seven point intervals, uh, and you can... Um, like, for example, if you think you know the answer, but you're not really that, you know, confident about it, if you bet, you know, two points, you're, you know, you're not going to lose too much if you're wrong. You could still gain a little bit if you win. But um, I got that click in my head, that point where everything, you know, all through trivia contest night, there were times when I either just sort of remember a word or a, an answer spontaneously, or I kind of go through multiple steps in my mind that may involve images that I associate with one thing or another um, to get the answer that way. But this was just like a flash. It was just, um, the con it made the connection, the, uh, the song and the question, and it was so sorry. And my teammates said, and you know, some of them had a little bit of, um, um, recognition you could tell that no no one had thought about this game for a very long time but once i named it they could recognize it and um and they said how confident are you and i just said seven because i just i was confident it was in my mind bam and that that spark when different things i know suddenly reveal a connection between them that gives me joy and that's enough for one video